Architects with a brand new song called Curse. Now, I'm trying to figure out over here if Jordan Fish actually kind of worked on this track. Let me see. Written by Dan, Sam Carter, and Jordan Fish. Produced by Jordan Fish. Oh my God. <laughs> That's sick. Okay. So, for those that are completely out of the loop with this Architect song, yeah, they've been teasing that they've been working with Jordan Fish. So, with Curse, I'm hoping that is just a fucking solid banger, right? Look, that's all we need for chit chat. So architects curse. Oh. <laughs> R slash metal to his already going to love this. And the guitars are really coming through the mix. There's the lows. Rating two, but 7.8, seven. Only wish there was some lead guitar melodies. Okay, in the choruses. Guitar tone are fucking excellent. What I like about Architects, but Sam's vocals kind of bore me now. Architects is like, you know, top five favorite bands for me. They could be up there. And I love Hollow Crown. I love Daybreaker. I love the here and now. I totally understand that sentiment. And I do kind of miss the older cleans from Sam, but he, you know, He's like changed over the years. His vocals have changed over the years. So I get it. But at the same time, I thought this track was cool. It's kind of following the similar pattern to seeing red. It's not that different in terms of like the shock factor, I guess, because now they're really seem like they're leaning to the metalcore side of things. So it's cool, but I kind of agree with this rain 7.5. And I'm trying to figure out why this song is not an eight or higher for me. So let me break it down through the pros and cons. So number one pro is that the kicks and like the guitars were really coming through the mix in this song it sounded heavy like when they did the heavy parts it sounded fucking heavy the lows the um the yeah the, what not this earth said the vocal run of the bridge part from sam was sick too but then the kicks and the guitars just sound awesome they sound beefy uh so it's just a big standout moment and then another pro that i have to this is that they do have a couple of little like tweaks from the song flow to keep things a little bit interesting because like on first listen 
I don't know exactly how the song went. It was obviously verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, but they had enough deviations from the song structure to keep things a little bit interesting. They added a little bit of sections here and there. So it just made it kind of like a not so basic sounding. And pro number three is that, you know, the chorus was catchy. I do find that this chorus, this chorus, <laughs> this chorus is actually uh, catchy, but it's not in your face catchy which i feel like some of the uh previous architects albums or the more recent ones they tend to do a lot of the woes and kind of things like where it's like forcing it to be more catchy than it actually is rather than using a clever vocal melody so it did feel like the chorus was catchy here but let's move on to the cons and my cons with this is that this song you know it's not too different from seeing red it's a little bit more of the same it's just a solid track but i just Maybe I need to give it a couple more listens because it didn't really, none of the ideas fully gripped me so much on first listen. The breakdown didn't hit that hard. The chorus wasn't like, you know, my favorite chorus that I've heard from them. So it's just a solid track, but I don't hear the replayability yet because I'm just not gripped by the moments in this song. So I need to give it, give it a couple more listens to really take it all in. But right now I actually totally agree with this rating. I was originally going to give it a 7.5, but 7.5 is how I feel about this track. Just a solid architect song. They can go heavy. They can go soft. It doesn't matter to me. I'm not that metalcore fan that wants breakdowns and blez. I don't give a shit about Sam doing a bleh. So for the YouTube comments to say like, oh, it's not metal enough. Uh, definitely not. Okay. I love the here and now from architects, which is one of their softer records. So I love the dynamics of this band. So maybe I'm hoping for more dynamics and more um, interesting experimentation on future releases, especially with Jordan Fish. But 7.5 is how I feel with Curse. I'm curious to know what your thoughts are, though. So comment down below. Spice up my life. Guys, what you think about this song? I'd love to know. Also, if you've gotten to this point of video and you haven't clicked off yet, then I appreciate you, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Feel free to leave like to the video. Also, comment down below. Guys, give me a funny word. Comment down below. Foop. And if you do, that means you watch the entire video and I'll know so it'll hurt your comment. But on that thing, tune in until next time. Peace.